What's up, guys? So, uh, we have this guy back again. Yeah. Uh, so many goddamn deck profiles, but you actually topped a regionals. Yeah, I got uh, 53rd place at a, what was it, 580? Uh, 580 Brooklyn. Woo! Everybody clap! <laughs> yes. No! Clap for Rob? No! No claps? Rob. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Alright. Good luck. Yeah. It's because... It's, yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, it's for YouTube. We can't curse. Sorry. I gotta censor you! <laughs> But let's get a uh, let, let's, let's see this profile. It's pretty basic solid. Okay. Uh, so three gazelle, three gazelle. Get knight, three spinny, two foxy. I didn't play three of this because I played the reclusia, so I didn't want to play like this. This is better open a reclusia with this be than this because this is like the free two card combo. Whereas this, you need that extra card to pitch. Mm -hmm. and if you have the extra card to pitch, then you might as well have had that, or you have like one of the one ofs. Um, the one ofs. Call was really good. Almost every time I made a rank four, it's just like game a lot of time because I was out of dollar with the uh, Paco was really good because you can like pitch it off rage and you can reset the rage. And every turn against back red decks, you can just like move it essentially. Mm -hmm. so you like you rage one off, you set reset, you rage one off, you reset. Mm -hmm. That's for the solid one. And that's the attack. Like, three. Oh yeah. Three specific. You just want to open it. Like okay. game. Like not a lot of people are playing ogre. I saw more. Like I saw. Phantasmate, Ash, Valor. <laughs> on a lot of lists, not a lot of Ogre. And I saw Ogre post side, so it's just like, that's me side this card out. And then two Reclusia. Um, I was already at 41, otherwise I'd play three. So this card's really good against the Striker deck, because you can just like, special to the zone, pop a card, and then you can like, have Twin, and Heat, Leo, Phoenix, you just play three. Alright, alright, let's, let's, let's see that money card though. Let, let's see it. Some hand traps, those three Phantasmate. Oh, god damn. Okay. What's funny was, my round one opponent, we both opened trip, like two ashes and a phantasme. Mm -hmm. So I went to phantasme him, he ashed it. Then I, he went to phantasme, I ashed it. And then I went to phantasme him again, and he ashed me. And it, like we did that for like two or three turns. Okay, alright, real, real quick question before you continue. Um, I'm seeing a lot of being online people saying that this deck needs it. Like this, oh, this deck definitely. absolutely needs this card. It definitely does, because like your cap is 24, so it's just like this helps out with big monsters as well as just like it helps mulligan in your hand because you can see you can play with a lot of two card combos but like if you just break you break because mm -hmm. you have a lot of bricks like this is a brick uh, where's the field puzzle the field puzzle brick it's just like you have cards that like it's weird that you want to see but you don't want to draw so like this just helps put them back okay and against striker you lose to like they can widow anchor your normal summon and then they'll like, you'll just pass it so a lot of times okay. you need the phantasm to like push your anchor Again, this is the 41 thing. I didn't want to play too many cards. Uh, all right, so um, for the people out there, you need this card in this deck. Like, it helps the deck like, out so much. If you're playing for like locals or whatever, you don't need it. But, like, if you're going to go like regionals or YCSs or whatever, you need it. And you wouldn't change the line, the lineup of uh, hand traps. Uh, if I'm gonna cut anything, it's probably Reclusia, just because Reclusia had the added bonus that before dual power, this could out the Goliath against uh, Danger Thunder, because they give you the Saryuja zones, so you special to the Saryuja and you pop the Goliath, and, but now they end on the Braddock link, so now you just can't do that, so this is definitely getting up. <laughs> Next up, the spell cards. Yeah, spells, three circle, uh, one sanctuary, one will. You know what, like, I used to play two of this, but, like, you just want to see multiples of it, and, like, sure, you can pitch it, or you can put off back off Phantasmate, but still, it's just, like, you'd rather just see the one. Then, since there's a regional tri triple twin twister, I, I played the one striker, the true Draco, Alter guys, like, you, this card helped me so much push through those boards, and the three call weather, Dave. Because, of course, you need Because you need, because you want your place to go off, like, a lot of people said you don't need it, because, like, if you don't get a trap, that's the end of, that isn't, isn't the end of the world, but at the same time. One quick question. Well, why, why is common? Huh? Why is Guys, I sold my supers a dumb one. Yeah. Because you needed those fantastic. <laughs> 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 and two traps, roar and rage. Okay. Um, well, wait, you don't play multiples of roar? No, because you most of the time you can just get it with the combo. And since I wasn't playing desires, I didn't feel like there was a need to play multiples. Okay. But going forward, I would cut the twin and the reclusions for three strike and a desire, and two desires, because it makes your combo matchup a lot easier. Just like be able to draw cards and push them. Alright, on to the spicy extra deck. Ah, uh, there's no spicy deck. <laughs> it's basic bitch Solomon Gate. Three Valence, three Sunlight Wolf, two Heat Leo, one Stalio, one Chimera, Dweller, Yuska, Kita. This actually won me one of my mirror, mirror matches because 
So the guy was like, oh yeah, you can't do the fusion of fire OTK, it will cost you too many resources because he bailed my stallion. So I Hita took his Sunlight Wolf, turned um, my Hita and a Salamigri I had on the board into a Heat Leo. I Heat Leo, Heat Leo, then I turned the Heat Leo and the Sunlight Wolf I took into another Sunlight Wolf. Added fusion of fire back off and I just killed him. So like this card just like lets you be ignorant in the mirror. Phoenix and then I made this, I think I made every card in the extra deck at least once. I made, I remember I made this in a mirror to out of Phantasme. This was just like, pr try to force through striker boards. This, I'm put, this is part of the striker fuck up. So I ended on a rank four, but I ended on Babuska because I thought I saw him playing Salad. But he was playing striker and I just like, I lost because of that. That's a smart play though, bro. I'm gonna play it against Yeah, because in the mirror, it's just like, the only out to it is a Kaiju. And yeah, just going really minus, like through it. Yeah. So the side, three paper tops cards broken. Uh, three Lantia for like Orcus and Danger Thunder. Uh, two Gamma Seal. Uh, this is for the striker matchup. So like you can just kaiju them. You turn off their Widowmakers, which means you can play, and then you can uh, Heat Leo whatever they set back off multi roll, and then so they get they they get banished. You can usually Phoenix in there too to pop the multi roll, and then you just kill the kaiju. And I'm pair off when you go into time. I came up round one, but round one I drew it game two, so I was just like, oh, we're never side this in again. <laughs> never again. So that's why they definitely yeah. fight that. Super poly. Because of course. Uh, two anti spell border for striker. Oh, it's actually cool in the mirror. I haven't seen this card in such a long time. It's such a I love this card. It's really cool in the mirror too, because like in the mirror sometimes they'll make you go first game two, game two and three, because it'll strike fusion and fire OTK you. Yeah. But then you have these three and just like you flip it and like they have to foxy it. Or they have to be able to get to foxy. And then two reboot for True Draco, Altergeist, and I mean you can put it in the mirror if they're, you know they're playing artifacts because you can just like reset the Sanctum. And it does two things, it forces the the roar and then you can just like play through roar either way. Okay. But yeah, that's the deck profile. So round one I played Salad, round two I played True Draco, round three, no round three I played Cyber Dragon, round four I played Striker. Round five, I played the mirror. Round six, I played Danger Striker, Mermel, Orcus Warrior. <laughs> round seven, I played Cyber again. Round eight, I lost. Um, round eight, I played another mirror. Round nine, I played Altergeist. Round ten, I played. I played a lot of mirrors. Some shout outs to the squad that Guys, supplied the deck. Yeah, right. Shout outs to Javi, Javi, Kevin, uh -huh. um, Blue, Freeze, Steven. Tim, because I played him round one and that was funny. Tim! It was! Uh, camera. Everyone, just everyone, everyone from Royals, cause like everyone was just like pressuring me to be like, Rob, you heard it here up. first. Join Royal Collectibles. What's the address of this place? Know. Who knows the address of Royal Collectibles? What? 9611 Metropolitan. In Forest Hills. In Forest Hills. Queens, New York. If you want Yu-Yo cards, you gotta buy them, cause we're not just gonna give you cards, cause we're not <laughs> stupid.